No criminal industry is growing faster in our country than human trafficking. Now Louisiana is getting some federal help in its fight against it. Capitol correspondent Harrison Golden explains the effort and the stories. My world went cold as if the oxygen was being sucked out of the air. Voices ceased. But now Juanita Cruz's voice is heard. She recalls when she learned her teenage daughter was reportedly sold for sex. This crime could have been prevented. With her daughter now in treatment and the alleged trafficker arrested, she says a federal grant to prevent more trafficking is what Louisiana needs. It's time to get the boots on the ground. We have to get the boots on the ground. The U.S. Department of Justice awarded Louisiana the $1.2 million grant. The state will spend that money over the course of three years on efforts between state agencies to study and stop what's often dubbed modern day slavery. I can't sit here and tell you that Louisiana has a, a bigger problem than other states our size. Um, but we know we have a problem that is too big. One that's risen sharply, according to DCFS numbers out last February. The agency identifying 681 suspected trafficking victims in Louisiana. And of those sex trafficking victims, 76 were ages 12 and under. So it's not always um, pleasant to be a part of this process, but gosh, we have to do this. We have to make a difference. From revised treatments to new reporting practices, Governor Edwards says the grant will help Louisiana set an example for other highly trafficked states. That's why the work that we're doing is so important and so exciting. To the child traffickers, to the exploiters, you will not come here and take advantage of our children or our adults or our aunts, uncles. You can't come here and do that. That's what we're saying here today. Harrison Golden, Fox 44 News. Louisiana is the only state to get this grant this year. Only seven states have received it since 2015. The victims' rights group Shared Hope International gave Louisiana an A grade last year for its anti-trafficking laws.